guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly Millennium and I'm a lifestyle and college advice YouTuber and today's video is how to get good grades and study in college. So stay tuned if you're a freshman or if you want to learn more. One, two, three, let's go! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly, as I said earlier, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tweet me at David Dilbert if you guys want to see more college advice videos and my college advice series. So today I am going to share one of my favorite tips for studying and getting good grades in college because I'm a junior now in college, so I have learned many a things since, you know, my freshman year. So let's get to it. Oh my god. That was the worst dancing ever. <laughs> First thing, get a planner. I reiterated this in every single video, but get a planner. It helps you keep track of everything and it helps you schedule stuff. And if you're not someone who likes to write down your notes, definitely invest in Google Calendar. Invest in Google Calendar. It's free. Google Calendar's free and I did a really cool um, video on how to use it. So if you guys need help, I'll link that video up here. Um, I personally use a passion planner because it does it. It plans out everything from monthly, daily, and weekly views with timestamps, so it's easier to manage, but obviously not everybody's person likes to write down stuff, so any planner you can get that you find helpful is useful. Next, look at your syllabus. Now, my teacher, my freshman year, tested me on my syllabus, so I obviously read that thing, but reading your syllabus is like one of the biggest ways to achieve in college because if you don't read your syllabus you're not going to know criteria, grading, grading scales, classroom policies, etc. and sometimes there might be like little hints in there on how to get extra credit so definitely read through that a few times or have it like saved on your computer so you can look back at it if you ever have questions. Next tip, see if you're graded on attendance in class and participation. You know why? Because even though it's not mandatory to be there. You usually will still get graded on it. And usually most colleges, bigger colleges, use the clicker system. I'll insert a picture of a wonderful clicker here. Um, those count attendance and if you're not in class you can't use your clicker. So I would definitely recommend going to classes even if, uh, well, we're in a pandemic so can't really go to classes. But if you have an attendance policy or anything, definitely do go to class for those things and obviously you should be going to class in the first place unless you're sick so yeah next tip make friends in your classes or match classes with your roommate this is obviously you can't really match classes with your roommate if they're a different major but obviously make friends in all your classes that's how I created study groups and learn some really good study tips from my friends and they're super helpful if you guys are looking over old tests and stuff or you're looking over a test you just took and you got something wrong and someone else got something right compare notes and tests so that you're ready for the next test or the final super helpful tip i recommend and also make study groups because keys next tip god i gotta stop dancing between these Take notes in class and be ready to write down something important the professor says. I constantly take handwritten notes in class. I'm not a typer unless it's like psych or something. But um, I religiously take notes in class. I will take notes on the PowerPoint slides if they post them before and or after. And I will write down literally anything I see that's important on those PowerPoint slides or just kind of like within lecture because it makes it easier for me to understand the material instead of just trying to absorb it through my brain because you're gonna lose the information. I definitely do recommend writing down your notes or if you're someone who likes to write on an iPad or like type, have the dictation tool on that's in Google and the dictation will, the one that's in also in Word if you're someone who likes to type their notes because you can still manage to get the entire lecture while writing down your notes. Very helpful. Um, I know it's on Word, I know it's on Google Docs and I know there are a few apps for it that I'll try to insert here for you. Next tip, using Quizlet to study. Quizlet is a godsend. I know there's a premium version of Quizlet, which I don't really know the difference between the two. I use normal Quizlet. I love it so much. I make flashcards of any important topics, um, terms, etc. that I have. 
that are going to be on upcoming tests or if you're someone who does not like to make flashcards there usually are flashcards from previous students or like students at different schools taking the same class as you so if you need to look up something for let's say like your bio 100 class if you search like bio 100 at your school you'll probably find flashcards for whatever test so yeah definitely use quizlet it's super fun it has games to help you memorize stuff it has a learning tool which you like take little quizzes and tests on it and you can write answers in and you can do multiple choice it's super helpful and it's free so why wouldn't you make a quizlet just saying next tip i'm gonna keep dancing is email your professor about any questions things you're confused about so your professor and like you knows you care and can get to you this kind of coincides with like office hours in a sense but your professors are usually willing to answer any question you have so please email your professors if they're rude to you obviously you have documentation of that but still they're gonna try and help you as much as they can and they probably will suggest coming to office hours if it's something they can't really explain over email but professors want you to email them and go to their office hours so they can help you understand material more I didn't want to go to office hours my freshman year at all because I thought it was dumb. No, they're super helpful. Go to office hours. They're the most beneficial thing if you are struggling in a certain subject and your friends or your tutor is not helping you enough. So yeah, next tip. Study ahead of time. Oh, that was bad. Let's do it again. Study ahead of time. Always know what's coming. Be prepared. I immediately after every class will start doing homework for that class unless I have back-to-back -back classes because it helps me get in the mindset and it helps me get at least a good chunk of it done before I have to do something else and then if I can't get back to it at a certain point I'll be able to get back to it know where I'm, I left off with my notes and get right back to it because obviously you can't remember everything you're thinking right after class yeah so always be prepared always study always be doing your homework always be like checking I don't know canvas bright space blackboard other learning things your schools and teachers websites to make sure you are ahead and on top of things and usually your professors will email you if you're in college so always check your email it's usually a student email always check your student email and if you don't check your student email forward it to your regular email because it's going to be a lot more helpful than finding out you have a test and you didn't study for it so next tip prioritize the work you're doing so you don't waste extra time on assignments that are not due first also, especially when you have limited time. I'm someone who's taking a fully load, like an 18 plus credit load every semester. So I obviously have to prioritize my classes and homework as much as I can from most important to least important. So if I know I'm gonna struggle on something, that's gonna go first. And I'm gonna see how much I can do before I ask for friend's help or anything else. And if it's something like, oh, you need to write a paper. If your paper is the most important, do that. If it's not, leave that for another time. Work on the most important assignment you always have first. Even if it's not due for like maybe a week or if you know it's something you're gonna struggle on, always start with that first because you're gonna have ample time if you start on it first to then go ask people instead of starting on it last minute and having no clue. Next tip, use Google Docs. Google Docs is amazing. It literally saves as you type. If you don't like Google, you can always use Word and just turn on autosave. Um, I don't know. Like notability, obviously, I think it saves as you go when you're writing on the iPad, but Google Docs and Word are lifesavers. They save as you go, so you won't lose anything, and your Google Drive will always be, like, I'm pretty sure, pretty open, and you can transfer them to other Google accounts. So always use Google Docs, because if your computer ends up shutting off automatically or really like mine did one time, you won't lose all the work that you've been working on. It will automatically save, and you'll be able to go back in instead of losing everything so definitely google docs is a must in college because things happen you know okay next tip do not miss labs if you are in any science course don't miss labs unless you really have to like you're sick or someone's dying or whatever like emergency purposes don't miss labs it's really hard to make them up and they're usually fully participation grade based and then like obviously your final if you have a final lab and then like your lab grades but if you miss a lab you'll be really behind you have to make it up and you're not going to get that much time to make it up so always try and make it to labs i don't know how this semester i have online labs so obviously i'll be making it to every lab and i'm gonna have to go pick up stuff for lab but if you have a physical lab this semester make sure to go when you can like as much as you can so go to lab from my scientist heart to yours go to lab go to lab go to lab i'm gonna keep reiterating that point 
Next tip, always do extra credit. Why wouldn't you do extra credit? I mean, who wouldn't want to have 105 in like physics or something? Always do extra credit. Always, whenever a teacher emails you about extra credit or it's in the syllabus or it comes up at some point during class, write it down, do it. It's gonna help you in the long run if you even like, if you fail a test, that, that extra credit's gonna pad that. It's padding your grade so you can do better. And believe me, I love extra credit. I feel like it's the best thing in the entire universe because your college professors will usually give you extra credit because they don't want to fail students. So please do the extra credit. It's usually easy. And if it's hard, you usually get points for trying. So please do the extra credit. My last tip <laughs> is study with your friends and go to the library to study. So I don't know how it's gonna work this semester, but study with friends. If you can Zoom your friends, you can Skype your friends, you can FaceTime your friends, easiest way to study. You have people there to study with you. Unless you're someone who's like very introverted, you can study by yourself. But usually study with some friends at some point. It helps when you vary up. When you vary things when you study in different environments, it's gonna help you study a lot more instead of being in the same environment, same place, reading the same thing over and over again. Obviously the library is like a go-to place for me to go study because it's usually quiet and they usually sit on the top floor, which is like silence. But I don't know if many libraries are going to be open this fall. So another really good resource is you can go to your local library that's not on your campus, or you can find a space usually if you live in an apartment or a dorm that's usually pretty quiet. I know dorms mostly have the uh, little study rooms, so you can always get one of those and lock it and make sure no one comes in so you can study. But hopefully that's helpful for you guys if you will need study tips. So that's all I have. If you have any questions, comment them down below so I can answer them for you and I'll see you next time.